Oh, we are connecting our first master server, right? Exactly. I'm just connecting the server, then uh, we will do the configuration. So let me just connect okay. the server first. So now you can see that I successfully connected my master server over here. Right? Got it, got it. Okay. Yes. And I'll, I'll do one thing. So along with I will uh, change the host name. So now you can see that uh, here EC2 minus user at the right IP 10.0, 1.1.0.2. So actually this IP address actually uh, it's very difficult to understand. So instead of that I actually, I actually can change this IP address to host name. Okay. 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 So for that actually we can use uh, host name. So this is not mandatory. It's optional. Okay. So if you want to understand okay. like which is the master and which is the like a node. So easily we can recognize that. That's what I'm using. this. Okay. Okay. That's a good one because it is very difficult to remember the numbers. Exactly. So as host name CTL then we can use set host name. Set host name, and we can provide a name over. So I'll just put master, end. Okay. So the problem actually we are not a root user. Let me put this. Okay. Then sudo minus i. See now you can see that a uh, uh, host name successfully changed it to master over you, right? Okay, that's okay. that's a good one. Mm, the same thing I will use over here. Ssh so minus i. Okay, you need to log in uh, all the servers, right? Exactly. Master and as well. Exactly. First, I'll log into all the server. Then I'll uh, try to change this host name. Then we will do the configuration. Okay, fine. Okay. Now I successfully connected my second virtual machine as well as a node. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now you are going to change the name. Exactly. Okay. So this I will call it as a uh, node one. Okay, node one and node two my targets. Okay. Okay. Now you can see that successfully we changed. We have a master and we have a node one. So now I log into okay. my third server. Then I'll just consider as a node two over there. Okay. Repeating the same steps. Same steps, same step, exactly. So now successfully connected our master and node one and node two. Okay. 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 So now actually we have to install Ansible on our master server. Only master server. Then we will try to connect our node one or node two. So we can either oh. we ah please. Okay. So this uh, we we are only installing Ansible in this master server and this master server is connecting to uh, this node one and node two, right? Exactly. Exactly. So uh, okay, actually the benefit is actually we don't need to install any module or we don't need to install any extra agent in this node one or node two. Once we install oh. this uh, this Ansible on master, then uh, we can simply, we can create a module, then we can push the module into the targets. Okay, this is a push method and that is why it is called push method and it is agentless. Exactly, yeah, right, agentless, agentless, exactly. So let me install Ansible on my master, then I uh, will try to do the configuration, like like uh, how to connect this node one with our master and same as how to connect this node two with this master. For that actually we have to do some configuration. So that I will do now, right now. Okay. 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 So let me back to my uh, master node again. So uh, I will install Ansible over here. So we can use em install Ansible. So let's okay. try. So if it is not working, we have to install. Okay. Now you can see that the problem is, see, no package Ansible available. So, which means, uh, so currently we're using Amazon Linux over here, right? Okay. Okay, so Amazon Linux doesn't have any uh, enough package to install Ansible, which means there is a no package named as Ansible in their repository. 
Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do here? So we have another package repository that is called Amazon uh, Linux Extras, or else we can directly we can go with the Apple repository. Apple means uh, extra package for enhanced Linux or extra package for enterprise Linux. So that is providing like uh, Red Hat. So we can directly we can install that repository. Then we can install our Ansible directly. Okay. Oh. So if you want, you can write it on the command to install Apple repository. We can use Amazon. Then we can use Amazon Linux extras. Then I'll install Apple repository. We can use Apple then minus Y. And okay. So now you can see that my Apple repository that is installing on my system. So once it completed, then I'll try to install Linux uh, Ansible again by the help of uh, the previous command. See, previously we were tried to install Ansible by using this command, right? Yes. Okay. So now I will use the same command. So let's see whether it's working or not. Yes. Okay. Let Let's wait. Okay. Okay. So it's still it's still actually they're not able to find the package. One minute. Okay. Let me check the package successfully installed or not. Okay, see actually uh, we supposed to install Ansible 2 that's what okay. So the name is Ansible 2. Okay, okay, we're okay, okay. not Ansible. I'll do one thing. So I'll I'll go with the same command extras, but install Ansible 2. It will work. Yeah, so now it's installing Ansible. Let's wait. Okay. Hmm. So what was that package? Initially, the, uh, there was one package got installed, right? What was it? That was the Apple repository. For example, like uh, Amazon Linux, actually, that is already modified Linux, right? Because Linux, this is not the exact Linux because Amazon they created mm -hmm. a Linux uh, from the actual Linux. That's the Amazon Linux. So they okay. have a default repository. So uh, I try to install one Apple repository from that default repository. Apple is already supported by RHEL Red Hat. Okay. Okay. So that is a kind of repository like uh, so we can call it as a container. So you will be able to find lot of softwares over there. For example, if you want to install Java or PHP, so you directly you can install that Apple repository. Then after you can uh, use M space install PHP. So you can use it. Okay. okay. Consider a scenario you want to install Python. So you're trying to execute M space install Python and you're not able to get the package, which means that you're getting an error. So no required package is available in repository. So that time directly you can go to Apple repository. You can install on a particular system. Then after you can uh, try the same command, it will work. Okay, got okay, it. That's it. Okay. So now I'll go to uh, one particular directory. By default, it will uh, install on one particular directory. CD slash etc and Ansible. And you can see that uh, Ansible successfully installed over here, right? So this is our configuration file. Whenever you're installing any packages, automatically it will uh, go to this particular directory, etc. Executed yes. files, uh, exactly. Configuration files. So Configuration files, like, exactly, exactly. Okay. So by default, we'll be have a three files. Uh, one is Ansible configuration file. So by using this file, actually, we can modify the log file. For example, if you want to do some addi additional functionality so that you can achieve by using Ansible configuration file. So we don't need to okay. modify anything over here. So it's already configured. But if you want to add any additional functionality, so then uh, we will go with that uh, Ansible configuration file. Okay. So this host file, we will call it as uh, typically we call it as like uh, uh, member files or inventory files uh, which means uh, whatever the target nodes you have so this target node information we will uh, keep in host file okay okay, okay, okay. okay so okay. I'll, I'll just open host file nano host okay so as of now you can see that we don't have any relevant information we have only some uh, like uh, some helpful command away for example uh, we can we can write down our like we, or, we, or else we can keep our target nodes on this way for example we can create a group then we can add our targets like one by one like uh, so this is giving some suggestions how we can do okay, okay. so I'll, I'll just create a entry over here. for that first i should get the ip address of my server okay and this is my uh, target one ip address i'll just copy this ip yeah. address hmm. okay then i will paste over here okay 
So oh, then we are just uh, pasting directly there, nothing else. Exactly, nothing else, nothing else. Okay. So suppose mm-hmm. if you want to create a group, for example, in your organization we have a, a particular group or different different group. For example, a Windows or else some database group or else uh, some uh, project project wise. For example, uh, supermarket chain, like a different different group. So you can create a group over by just creating one square bracket. Uh, then you can uh, consider, for example, you super have a group name there, right? Exactly, exactly. Okay, 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 okay. Supermarket. But. Exactly. The purpose of this group, whenever you want to execute any script, you only need to specify this group name. Automatically, that will install all the uh, nodes under the supermarket. That's what. Okay. Okay. Then we can do one thing, right? We can add the nodes uh, IP addresses uh, one by one, and oh. we can give a name. Exactly. And by calling the group name, all the IP addresses, all the nodes will respond, right? Exactly. Exactly. That's it. So that's mm-hmm. what actually uh, the purpose of this group. So anyway, I'm just going to create a group uh, called as a supermarket. Okay, because uh, all the servers, all servers under supermarket, I will just place it under supermarket. Okay. 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 Mm-hmm. So then, uh, so let's specify the username for that. Uh, we have to use Ansible underscore ssh user so we have to specify ansible underscore ssh user then uh, we have to specify the username uh, since our username is ec2 minus user i will specify ec2 minus user or else directly you okay. can go to this node then you can create one more user for example Arun or ashik we can create another user then after we can put the same username over you ashik okay oh, okay okay so next we have to uh, provide the uh, authentication type for example uh, we have a two method either you can connect your server by using ssh key or password okay okay so uh, i don't have any password because i didn't configure this server as a password authentication so uh, directly i go with the uh, ssh key so that we can do oh, okay. okay so for that uh, we have to use this key ansible ssh sorry ansible private key file Okay, we have to use Ansible private key file is equal to uh, here you have to mention the path of the file because see if you want to connect your server you require SSH key right. Correct. Okay, the key name actually you can mention over here. So whenever you mention the key name you have to specify the absolute path which means uh, the key uh, that is located on home directory then you have to specify slash home. Or is the key that oh. is uh, that is located on Ansible directory? Then directly you can specify key that is enough because uh, it's the same directory. That's what. Okay. Okay. Anyway, I'm just I'm just going to specify key. But the problem till now I didn't create any key over here. I I have to create a key so then only it will be valid or else it will throw an error like uh, permission denied. Oh yes, got it. Oh, okay. So let me just save this file. Control or enter Control X. Okay. So now I'll try to execute yeah. this command. Let's see what error we getting over there. Then we will rectify that one by one. Okay. 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 We can use Ansible. Then we can use, uh, see either you can use all or else you can use uh, IP address, particular IP address of that virtual machine or else you can use group name. So the purpose is for example, okay. if you're using all, so it will be ping all node. For example, suppose consider you have a hundred nodes or hundred target, hundred targets and it will ping okay. to the hundred targets. Okay. Got it, got it. Okay. Or else you can specify, specify the group name, for example, supermarket, and it will ping all the supermarket under supermarket, which are the nodes is coming. So it will ping to that particular node. Or else, uh, okay. direct, uh, or else directly you can uh, specify one particular IP address and you can only ping to that particular IP address. So that according to your wish. Okay. Anyway, let me specify supermarket over here. Supermarket. Okay. Then space. Uh, minus some that is uh, refers module then uh, we have to use ping okay enter so i'll specify is yes. okay so now you can see that unreachable see i did okay i didn't specify any ip address i only specified supermarket but even though it took the ip address 3.3236243.95 3, uh, right Got it. And uh, this is my target node. If I come to my uh, diagram, you can see that 95 that is ending with my target node. So automatically, oh. uh, automatically it took the IP address. So it's throwing an error. We not able to access. The problem is permission denied. Okay. 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 So the problem you can see that permission denied and uh, above this error you can see that one more option key. No such a key file or directory, which means actually they're not able to find the particular key. So they want to connect oh. the server, but the key that is not presenting on our virtual machine. That's a problem. Okay. Okay. 
so let me do one thing let me uh, create a key over here then i'll try again okay 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 so for that i will open nano and then i can create a key let me open key okay i have a doubt doubt here Please. so you are going to create a new key and you are pasting uh, the encrypted data of existing key right exactly exactly okay that's it because actually we have to copy the key uh, so which is belongs to the node 1 and node 2 then only we can connect oh. okay okay so since in our case actually uh, we using the same key for our three virtual machine so mm. we have to okay. copy the particular key over here then uh, so this node will be able to communicate node 1 node 2 they say okay okay let me paste over here okay is it necessary to have same key for all the three servers no 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 not necessary so but actually uh, if you want to like uh, get rid of some difficult scenario for example if you manage multiple uh, key that is very difficult right so that's what okay. uh, uh, that's what better you can keep only one key for that like uh, learning purpose you can do that so once you getting into okay. production so we have to keep multiple key because actually we cannot compromise the security that's what okay correct okay Anyway, successfully uh, I created a key. You can see that ls minus l. I have a key over here. So now next step, we need to remove the permission. See, now you can see that my key is able to access uh, owner and uh, you uh, groups and other users. So we need to reduce the permission from other users and group. So for that, we have to execute this command. Ch mod. Okay. Then six hundred. Then we can specify the key name. Okay. Key. Yeah, successfully then I'll execute ls minus la one again once again. Ls minus la. Okay, so now you can see that our key having only one permission and that is for our root user or owner, right? Okay, so again I'll try to uh, again I'll try to ping Ansible. So Ansible. So then I'll specify all or so I can specify supermarket as well. No problem. Ping. Mm -hmm. So now you can see that successfully we connected our connected our target one. Okay. Okay. So the same okay. script file repeat once again. I'll go to my uh, host file again. Then I will uh, get the public IP address of node two. Then I'll paste over there. See, actually it's not oh. necessary to get the public IP address. You can get the private as well. See, if it is in the same VPC or if you connected okay. VPN connection. Oh, both uh, both three servers and the same network, so we can use private IP address. Exactly, right? we can. We can. We do that. Mm, yes. See, and one more thing, like uh, e even if you don't have in the same network, like even if you're not in the same network, you can create a VPN connection, like a private connection in between, then you can use private IP, no restriction at all. Okay. Okay. Let me uh, get the private IP, sorry, public IP address of the node to, then I'll repeat the same. Okay. Just copy this, then go to virtual machine. Okay. So the file name, I hope you remember, host, we have to go to host file. And uh, here you can see that only one entry under supermarket. I'll paste over the IP address. Okay. So okay. Uh, next we have to uh, copy this this one. So because we already done that in previous lab, I'll just copy this. Okay. Then I'll paste over here. So same step because see node two also belongs to the EC2 minus user. If you have any other user, yeah. Got it. Got it. That's what. So next we can copy the same one that just change the IP address. That's exactly, it. exactly. So now I'll specify the a private key file as well. So for that we have to use that. Let me just do that. So I'll specify Ansible, then private, then key file. So I'll refer the same key over here. Just put key that is enough. Control or enter control X. So now everything is done. I'll I'll repeat once again. Ansible. Then let me try to ping to the all instance. Then I'll specify minus m that is stands for module. Then ping. So I'll accept. Okay. So I hope you understood. I'll I'll repeat once again. So you can see that we getting two reply. One is one is from two forty three ninety five. Another one is from twenty five dot two zero one. Which means we successfully connected our two virtual machine. Which means we are able to do that without any other. Uh, like obstructions or interruptions. Okay, got it, got it, got it. So uh, I had a doubt on this actually. So you have updated those details like mm. IP addresses in the host file. Mm. So and you created a group uh, supermarket. So we can tell uh, those data's inventory, right? 
Inventory exactly. We'll call it as usually we'll call it as a host file or inventory file. You might be get the same question oh. from interview. Yes. Okay. In, in Ansible, we are using the term inventory, right? Inventory exactly. Okay, fine. Okay. Mm. Got it. So it was clear and loud. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much.